Okay. Good morning to everyone, and thank you for the organization um, to the organization for inviting us to present our work, our work here today. Um, today, I'm going to present a work we did, uh, which is showing that Lewy body fractions from patients with Parkinson's disease can initiate alpha synuclein dependent neurodegeneration in mice and non-human primates. As you all know, um, Parkinson's disease is mainly characterized by the the uh, dopaminergic cell loss in the substantia nigra pars compacta and the presence in affected brain regions of um, insoluble cytoplasmic inclusions, mainly consisting of alpha synuclein, which are the Lewy bodies. Um, this alpha synuclein in Parkinson's disease and other synucleopathies is uh, mainly deposited in a hyperphosphorylated form with a fibrillar structure. Multiplications and also three-point uh, missense mutations have been so far identified in familiar forms of Parkinson's disease and also in disease with Lewy bodies. Um, pointing out that uh, abnormalities in alpha synuclein uh, can be causative of these diseases. But despite all this big research that has been done in this sense, um, we still don't know what is the exact relevance of Lewy bodies into the pathogenic process of Parkinson's disease. In the um, last years, there is mounting evidence that neuropathological alpha synuclein lesions in Parkinson's disease can self-propagate and might spread progressively um, through interconnected brain regions by a cell-to-cell -cell transmission mechanism. Supporting this concept, Brack proposes a, a model in which um, Lewy body pathology can spread uh, from um, rostral caudal um, axis from the neuronal nuclei in the medulla oblongata in, in early um, uh, stages of the disease to mesencephalon and neocortical areas as the disease progresses. It's true that this uh, model remains controversial because it cannot explain all the um, pathological cases that have been found. However, um, what we want to point out is that alpha synuclein pathology does not appear at the same time in the whole brain. On the contrary, it seemed to um, progress somehow between interconnected brain, uh, anatomically interconnected brain regions. In this line, um, Cordover published uh, a beautiful work in 2008 using um, embryonic um, neurons that were transplanted into the striatum of an individual with Parkinson's disease. These grafts survived for 14 years, and uh, they were viable, expressed in tyrosine hydroxylase, BMAT, but not to dopamine transporter. The interesting point um, um, in this, pro in this um, in data was that not only in non-grafted host um, original Parkinson and brain, but also in the new engrafted neurons, there was um, alpha synuclein, uh, there were alpha synuclein inclusions that were positive for ubiquitin. So this was suggesting a host to graft transmission of the Lewy body pathology uh, in the human brain. Uh, the SPLAT further explored this uh, mechanism of progression or, or, or transmission of Lewy body pathology mm -hmm. in the brain, and um, they show that alpha synuclein can be transmitted from neuron to neuron via um, endocytosis, and this alpha synuclein can form Lewy body inclusions in the cells. They did intrahypocampal injections from mouse cortical neuronal um, stem cells in an alpha synuclein transgenic model. Um, the stem cells were uh, infected with GFP, so they were labeled in green, and the alpha synuclein um, were labeled with um, tyramide red. So they could show how this um, alpha synuclein could be uptaken by the engrafted neurons and internalized, as you can see here in the merge images or here. Um, furthermore, this alpha synuclein was able, able to form inclusion bodies in the cells that could be quantified and, and show almost a 50%. Um, they were almost present in, in, in the 15% of the cells. And they also studied the intracellular distribution of this alpha synuclein using a um, cell model which was consisting of differentiated SHSY5Y cells 
um, that were overexpressed in alpha synuclein and were co-cultured with the same cells not overexpressed in alpha synuclein. And they could see how uh, the alpha synuclein was transmitted from the donor cells to the acceptor cells in two different ways, either um, with a diffuse, a kind of diffuse um, accumulation of alpha synuclein or also with the formation of inclusion bodies. These inclusion bodies were positive for ubiquitin and also for the amyloid binding dye teoflavin S. And what was more interesting was that the transference in both cases when the alpha synuclein was present um, diffusely or when it was forming inclusion bodies, um, the amount of, of um, alpha synuclein uh, internalized by the um, acceptor cells was depending on the alpha synuclein expression level in the donor cells. Um, a little bit more, more recently, the laboratory of Virginia Lee um, showed that a single, a single um, inoculation of synthetic recombinant alpha synuclein fibrils into uh, um, striatum of, the, of, of mice brain, either white type of alpha synuclein, was able to um, initiate an alpha synuclein pathology that could be transmitted to interconnected brain regions. As it's shown here at 30 days, um, well, in the striatum, which was the injection site, and also in the cortex. And with the time after uh, the injection, this pathology was even um, stronger and could even be seen in the contralateral cortex. Um, inside these cells, there were also inclusion bodies that were positive for hyperphosphorylated alpha synuclein. This um, pathology was also accompanied by um, dopaminergic and neuronal loss in the, in the substantia nigra, which was um, progressive and also accompanied by motor deficits and reduced levels of, of dopamine in the, in the nigrostriatal pathway. And um, even if they were taking brain extracts from old mice that were presenting alpha synuclein pathology, and they were injected into young asymptomatic uh, mice, the, these brain extracts were accelerating the initiation and progression of the Lewy body pathology. Oh, well, I um, would like to also say first that um, Matsuda uh, in, in, the, in the last years um, also published and showed that these synthetic recombinant alpha synuclein fibrils injected into mice brain could trigger the pathological conversion of endogenous alpha synuclein from the host uh, murine cells. But despite all the, all the work that has been done, which is a lot, there are still so many questions that remain unanswered. And we were especially interested in knowing um, if human alpha synuclein that is normally contained in the Lewy bodies and is linked to Parkinson's disease could have this um, potential to cause neurodegeneration in this type of models. And also, if um, it can cause the same pathogenic effect that it was seen for synthetic recombinant alpha synuclein fibrils. And finally, if this process that has been shown in, in rodents can also occur in a species closer to human. So for this, um, we, we design um, a number of experiments to explore the pathogenic effects of these uh, negral Lewy body extracts from PD patients by inoculating them into the brains of uh, wild-type mice or macaque monkeys. For that, um, human substantia nigra was dissected from fresh fro um, uh, frozen post-mortem midbrain samples and uh, from three different sporadic Parkinson's disease patients that were presenting Lewy body pathology. Um, the pathogenic alpha synuclein was purified by a sucrose gradient uh, obtaining 20 fra fractions from top to bottom that were analyzed for the presence of aggregated alpha synuclein. Um, the analysis that we did was a filter retardation assay that allows to, to detect aggregated uh, um, alpha synuclein by the ability of, of a, a membrane to retain 
um, detergent or urea insoluble amyloid fibers or high molecular waste, uh, weight aggregates. And um, as you can see here, these would be the, the 20 fractions that we obtained from the sucrose gradient. This would be fraction 1 to 10, fraction 11 to 20, and most of the aggregated protein was contained within the fractions 15 to 19. So these fractions were the ones that we used to mix them all together in the same proportion uh, for injection in, in animals. As a control, we used uh, um, two things. Uh, one thing was the, the vehicle, which was the corresponding sucrose fraction, but without any uh, Lewy body uh, sample inside. And the other one was what we called a non Lewy body fraction. We used uh, the fraction six, but we could have used whatever from, from one to nine, more or less, which was coming from the same patients, but didn't show any aggregated alpha synuclein. These um, samples were also uh, quantified for human alpha synuclein using a specific ELISA. And we saw that the amount of alpha synuclein that they contained was approximately 10 micrograms of alpha synuclein per microliter of sample. When we analyzed these um, um, samples by electron microscopy, we saw that there were presenting um, amorphous or spherical um, aggregates with a filamentous structure that was positive for alpha synuclein, as it's shown here in the immunogold. But we thought this, it was not so suitable for our injection in, in animals because the, the aggregates were so big. So what we did was to sonicate, to bat sonicate these um, samples for five minutes prior to injection, resulting in the disruption of the aggregates into febrile fragments of different sizes. Um, to further um, corroborate that the aggregated alpha synuclein that we were observing in, in this filter retardation assay, uh, we did immunoblotting for um, hyperphosphorylated alpha synuclein, ubiquitin, and P62, all of them no, co known components of the Lewy bodies. Uh, furthermore, alpha synuclein could be shown in the bifluorescence microscopy to co localize with the amyloid binding dye tioflavin S. So we used um, adult uh, wild type um, mice to inject either the Lewy body um, extra extracts, the non Lewy body extracts, or the, the vehicle uh, in one single unilateral uh, injection just above the substantia nigra. And these brains were analyzed at different time points for 24 hours to 17 months to uh, study the. Um, the nigrous triatal pathway and, and check the, the integrity. This was done at, at two different levels. Um, at one level, we studied the integrity of the uh, dopaminergic neurons in the, in the substantia nigra pars compacta by a stereological cell counting of the tyrosine hydroxylase positive cells. And in the other side, uh, we uh, also analyzed the integrity of the striatum by, um, by optical density of the steatal TH positive fibers. Uh, there was no evidence of nigrostriatal degeneration in the first time point for weeks, but after four months post injection, we could already see that there was an ongoing uh, progressive neural degeneration in the fibers from the, from the striatum, which was. Um, um, going up to 17 months. Um, concomitantly to this estriata neurodegeneration, there was also a neuronal cell loss in the, in the substantia nigra, but only in some mice that was more extensive and, and applying to all the mice studied at 17 months. On the other hand, no signs of nigral neurodegeneration were observed in the mice injected either with the vehicle or with the uh, non lewy body fractions. Um, the, um, these cells also show signs of astrogliosis, as it's shown by the um, staining of IWA1 positive uh, cells 
in GFAP astrocytic uh, reaction. And they also had a motor deficit. Here is the Lewy body injected mice compared to the vehicle injected mice or the non injected mice, uh, mice that we, we, we did by a poll test. So, to further assess if this um, nigrostriatal neurodegeneration that we were observing in the Lewy body injected mice was um, correlating with a, an alpha synuclein pathology. We used uh, an alpha synuclein antibody that was detecting human alpha synuclein, but not murine. And we could see that um, the external alpha synuclein coming from the Lewy body extracts was already internalized in the mice cells at 24 hours. Also in TH dopaminergic neuronal cells. And um, the, the immuno, immunostaining appear mostly as a punctate inclusion-like uh, staining. But this um, human alpha synuclein that was detected, detectable at 24 hours could not be detected at later time points. However, when using uh, an antibody that recognizes both human and murine alpha synuclein uh, at four months, we saw a big signal in Lewy body injected mice uh, which was corresponding to dopaminergic and uh, TH-positive neurons that could be only attributed to the endogenous alpha-synuclein uh, from mice because we couldn't detect any more human alpha-synuclein. So this is um, telling us that the exogenous alpha-synuclein that we injected, that is coming from the Lewy bodies, was triggering the pathological conversion of uh, endogenous alpha-synuclein in the mice. To further confirm this um, hypothesis, uh, we observe by immunohistochemistry for alpha synuclein uh, before and after protein SK uh, digestion, that whereas in the non injected mice, no uh, alpha synuclein signal was remaining after digestion with protein kinase, in the Lewy body injected mice, there was um, some signal that was resistant to this, to this digestion. And you can see here what's the difference between the Lewy body injected mice and the non Lewy body injected mice or the vehicle injected. So, this is mainly telling us that this endogenous alpha synuclein from, uh, from the mice that have been converted to, to, into a pathological um, conformation, let's say, by the exogenous alpha synuclein, was adopting an aggregated or beta seed uh, conformation. Um, to further corroborate this um, pathogenic nature of alpha synuclein, uh, we did an staining for hyperphosphorylated alpha synuclein, and we could observe uh, a signal in the Lewy body injected mice. Um, this signal could not be detected in the latest, latest time point at 17 uh, months, probably because cell death is already fully established at this at this point. And also, what it it's, uh, it was very interesting was that um, hyperphosphorylated alpha synuclein could also be detected in other brain regions uh, connected to the, to the injection site, such as the striatum or neocortical areas, where the Lewy body injected mice showed much more hyperphosphorylated alpha synuclein than the non-injected mice. But the Lewy bodies contain many other components besides the alpha synuclein, and we wanted to be sure that the pathogenic effect we were observing was due to um, a specific uh, um, process uh, or, or activity uh, by the alpha synuclein. So we used these original Lewy body extracts, which are shown here to do um, two sequential immunoprecipitations in order to deplete alpha synuclein from these samples. We took the supernatant of the second immunoprecipitation, and this supernatant was injected into mice and compared to the Lewy body uh, injected mice. What we saw was that whereas the Lewy body injected mice um, were showing an increased hyperphosphorylation uh, of cells, the alpha synuclein depleted uh, mice were not showing an increased phosphorylated alpha synuclein compared to the non-injected mice. Also, this um, 
pathogenic process seem to be dependent or, or seem to need the host expression of endogenous alpha synuclein, in this case, murine synuclein, because when the Lewy body uh, extracts were injected into alpha synuclein knockout mice, these mice, which are shown here in these gray bars, uh, didn't show any sign of neural degeneration or, or alpha synuclein pathology. Um, however, we, we found these this, um, results interesting in, in urine. What we wanted to, to be sure is that this process was also occurring in some species more relevant to, to human disease. So we decided to, to use uh, monkeys that were injected at two different points. Uh, two monkeys were injected into the striatum and two monkeys were injected into the substantia nigra. And they were analyzed at different time points by PET for the um, um, density of uh, TH fibers in the, in the striatum. We could see that already after nine months, these monkeys were showing reduced levels of estriata, estriatal innervation that was sustained till 12 months. This was confirmed by uh, neuropathological uh, analysis where we could see, so we, we, we could, uh, see that the monkey injected into the striatum had um, about a 30% uh, reduction in the striatal innervation. This was also happening in the uh, monkey injected into the substantia nigra. And concomitantly to this um, neurodegenerative process in the striatum, there was also a 40% reduction of uh, the, the neurons in the substantia nigra, in the monkey, monkey injected into the striatum, and a 15% uh, reduction of, of neurons in the substantia nigra of the mouse injected into the, into the substantia nigra directly. This is um, telling us that the disease progression in the, in the mice um, injected directly into the substantia nigra is uh, progressing slower or is not such um, so pathogenic as the one injected into the striatum. Um, this um, neural neurodegeneration was also analyzed uh, at the level of uh, pathogenic oxynuclein by immunohistochemistry. And um, the mouse injected into, into the striatum was analyzed at different regions of the brain to see how the expression of alpha synuclein could be spreading through, through these interconnected brain regions. We could see that the, the mouse injected into the striatum was showing an increase in alpha synuclein expression, um, not only in the ejected site, but also in the regions that receive input from or that were um, um, sending afferent connections to the injection site. So, such was the, the, well, the caudate and the putamen, the globus pallidus, the substantia nigra, uh, the program, uh, prefrontal gyrus, the entorhinal um, area of the temporal cortex. Um, a pro besides of the, of the monkeys that were injected into the striatum and the substantia nigra, we also wanted to know what was the contribution of the negro striatal pathway uh, to this um, putative spreading of the disease. So uh, one monkey from each group, so one from the striatum and one from the substantia nigra, were pretreated with uh, the, the neurotoxin MPTP to destroy the nigro striatal pathway and to see what was the potential contribution of, of this pathway to the, to the disease progression. So the monkey, which was injected uh, or treated with MPTP prior to injection, showed only a local accumulation um, of, of alpha synuclein in the injection site that was projecting to the efferent areas but was not accumulating retrogradely. So 
no expression of alkoxynuclein was observed in the substantia nigra. On the other side, the monkey, which was injected in the, into the substantia nigra, was only showing um, local accumulation of alpha-synuclein in the injection site, here in the substantia nigra, but not so much spreading through the interconnected brain regions. Also, the MPTP mice was uh, showing, anyways, uh, accumulation in the substantia nigra. So overall, uh, our data suggests that Lewy body link human alpha-synuclein, which is derived from Parkinson's disease patients, uh, can be pathogenic in both rodent and non-human primates. And this derived alpha-synuclein can induce the pathological conversion of endogenous alpha-synuclein from uh, uh, the mice, uh, which is associated to a progressive neurostrial cell degeneration, which is mainly starting in the striatal terminus terminals, and then later on um, uh, going into the, in the, into the neuronal cell bodies, which is exactly what is observed in the Parkinson's disease patients. Uh, the Parkinson's disease-like pathogenic effects are dependent on both exogenous alpha-synuclein, which is present in the Lewy bodies, but also depend on the host endogenous alpha-synuclein. And finally, Lewy body-induced alpha-synuclein pathology can disseminate transsynaptically because the majority or the vast majority of the alpha synuclein signal that we could observe was in the, in the synaptic terminals and can disseminate both anterogradly and retrogradly to anatomically interconnected brain regions which are distant to the injection site with a more limited spreading when injected into the, into the substantia nigra which is probably due to the higher connectivity of the striatum. Um, I only want to, to show just very quickly that this project is not um, finished here. And um, we want to, well, there is already an ongoing project in, in baboon monkeys using uh, 53 monkeys. So it's, it's going to be a very robust study, which is um, financed by the Michael J. Fox Foundation for the next three years and in which we want to explore the kinetics of this prion-like Lewy bodies induced neurodegeneration and to check also the specific vulnerability of dopaminergic neurons to uptake and propagate this alpha synuclein aggregates. Um, we are going to monitor the symptoms through the whole uh, experimental um, um, uh, setting. And um, we also want to study the effect of the central nervous system level of the administration of these um, Lewy bodies that we are going to choose also with these monkeys, either injected into the striatum or into the prefrontal cortex. We also want to administer these Lewy bodies in the ventral wall of the stomach and duodenum and see how is the, the spreading of Lewy body pathology, if there is some spreading at all. Uh, along the, the central nervous system. Um, just to finish, I want to mention all the people that has participated in this, in this work, um, especially Ariadna Recasens, who is the main author of these of this, um, um, results, and also Jordi Bové and Benjamin De Haye from uh, Bordeaux in France, the lab from Isabel Fariñas, Ana Pérez, uh, the lab from um, Jose Obeso and Blesa. And um, I also wanted to mention uh, the University of Murcia, of Murcia, the lab of Teresa Herrero, um, that didn't participate in these results that I showed today, but they are doing a great effort already organizing and preparing the, con the colony of baboons that it's going to be used for the, for the study in monkeys. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we have time for questions. There is one there on the back. Very nice talk. Uh, let me ask you something. Uh, probably I misunderstood you. You said that the concentration of sinuclein within those preparations from the body was 10 picograms per microliter? 
Yeah, well, actually, this is something that we have to, um, to discuss a little bit more. The thing is that we use a, a specific ELISA for human alpha synuclein in these samples, and um, this was the, the concentration that we obtained from this, from this ELISA, uh, which is about 10 or 20 times lower than it was reported with uh, the synthetic alpha synuclein. Um, but the, the impression we have is that this um, ELISA is only measuring soluble alpha synuclein and not so much, so much aggregated alpha synuclein. Because um, if, if, well, I don't know if I can see it now, but if you see the, the images I have from the filter the retardation assay where I have the concentrations, concentration of alpha synuclein in, um, in Lewy body fractions and in non lewy body fractions were similar. So for that and for other um, results we have from Western blood, we suspect that the, the ELISA is only taking into account soluble or monomeric alpha synuclein and not aggregated alpha synuclein. Well, anyway, you, you could make it soluble and then we check it. Okay, the other two questions, short ones, is referred to the controls you make. Actually, the control you made for an injection, I would like to see better than that, is just to take your fraction that is the positive one, mm -hmm. ultra centrifuge in an air fuge, and take the super rhythm that would should contain no synuclein and inject that to see whether it's still producing the same effect. That would be a good control for your experiments, better than treating with proteinase chiral or with any other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another question in respect to the one of the films I didn't see it quite well. Uh, how far was the proteinase K resistance in nuclein after injection from the site of injection? Those uh, small dots that you saw in the... Sorry, I didn't hear the previous yeah, beginning the, of the... You saw one slide that there is uh, some res proteinase K resistant brain structures. Of, yeah. Yeah, how far was that uh, structure from the site of injection of synuclein? Uh, mm. Was it close or was it far away? Um, I cannot remember exactly because the injection was in the substantia nigra and, and this um, protein is K-resistant alpha synuclein deposits were also in the substantia nigra, but I cannot remember exactly how far they were from the injection side. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you very much. So, Gusto? Very beautiful work. Thank you very much. Uh, my question is not related to your work. I mean, it's just indirectly related. It's a question of a clinician. So forgive me <laughs> if, if uh, uh, it's not appropriate. The issue is, if there is propagation of synuclein pathology, why it does not follow anatomical connections? For instance, I mean, after the Substantia nigra, we should see synuclein pathology in the striatum, but we do not see levy bodies in the striatum of patients with Parkinson's disease. Why is that? Well, what are the connections between the olfactory bulb and the locus ceruleus or the nucleus rafe magnus cellularis? What are the connections between rafe magnus cellularis and locus ceruleus with substantia nigra? Yeah. Um, well, it, uh, if I could answer that question, I would be publishing it because <laughs> it's the big controversy right now in the, in the field. Um, it's, it's also the same controversy that we have with the BRAC model. Um, I think it's difficult to explain, and this is something we, we all have to work in. But probably the, the, um, the fact that this um, pathology is uh, progressive is, is, um, is being transmitted not only retrogradly but also anterogradly. This is including an, an, an extra um, 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 effect because besides having, for example, um, 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 alpha synuclein pathology in the substantia nigra that it's going to the striatum and so on and so, this alpha synuclein pathology would be moving back uh, and forward to different brain regions. And also, I, I guess we have to take into account that each patient may have, um, I don't know, genetic alterations, anatomical alterations that might be modifying specifically in each one 
how this um, disease is progressing in, in the brain. But the, the truth is I cannot <laughs> answer that question right now. I have a, a question myself. Uh, okay. uh, you are recapitulating the, the advance in the field of the, in the prion protein mm -hmm. and uh, you are seeing cross-species conversion and also the transmission even from the GI, from the gastrointestinal tract. So I, that may, <laughs> you guys kind of worrying, are you suspecting that it might be some synuclein deposits in the cattle, in the animals that we, we eat and there might be a way of uh, let's say contaminant or let the toxic uh, hypothesis of Parkinson's disease might be uh, uh, an origin of the disease also there? Um, um, in, in principle, we don't take that into account. We, we're working with um, animals which are supposed to be equal ones to, to each other and, um, um, and using all the controls we, we have in our hands. So um, in principle, we have to attribute the differences we are seeing to the, to the differences uh, in, in, the, in the injection that we are administering to these mice. But um, I don't know how um, a specific toxin could be acting on this. On but this is one. there any evidence of Lewy bodies in, in other species, in, in animals? In, in um, are you mean in, in other species? Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure because I don't think there are um, um, there are so many Lewy bodies in other species, but I, I'm not really sure about this. Probably non-primate humans, but uh, normally these kind of um, aggregates are mainly present in, in humans and not so much in, in other animals. Okay. So if there are no more questions, yeah, there is one. Congratulations for the very, very nice work. Uh, the NPTP models, basically done about 20 years ago, had a clear age at treatment or exposure effect, which was attributed to the uh, melanization of Sustantia nigra, which was a progressive. Sorry, could you put the... the yeah, uh, yeah, I think the NPTP models had a clear age at treatment effect, which was attributed mm -hmm. to the melano... Uh, melanic deposit, uh, which was not uh, from birth. And there are also uh, uh, epidemiological data suggesting that there are childhood infections linked to Parkinson. Did you observe any kind of age uh, at uh, treatment effect, or was this? Uh, no, um, the problem with the MPTP treatment, it was that uh, it was done only in, in, in a small number of animals. So we could not compare different, different ages. We were only administering um, MPTP at one point, and uh, we couldn't um, distinguish the age effects. However, now that we have this, this big study in baboons, this is something we, we could do. Because obviously we are interested in, in, um, in um, using all the controls that we couldn't use in the previous study and into um, going a little bit farther in the, in the study of the, of the pathology. Okay, so thank you, I think this is...